I know, but if you look in there, there's like just couches and TVs and stuff. And there's a big thing of cardboard in front of the door. Oh, well, they don't want anyone going in there. I don't know, I think they're closed. Welcome to Leggett, California, population 315. You've probably never heard of it, but you might have heard of its landmark, the Chandelier drive through Tree. You know, people come from all over the world. I've had people who have just wanted to drive a car through a tree. Well, I'm Julia, I'm from Germany. I'm Alex, I'm from Spain. We usually try to come through here once a year. I just packed up my life one day and started hitting the road. Yeah, ever since I was a kid, growing up, running around here, the whole place is different memories of my grandparents, my great-grandparents. I drove through the tree in 2013 on a trip with my friends, and I bought this souvenir hat. People would stop me and ask about the hat, and I realized I knew so little about its origin. The drive through tree series took me and four friends back to Leggett for an exploration of small town life. Camera roll. Sound speed. Awesome. So we asked the question, in a place where so many people are just driving through, what happens when you stay? When you have a business like this, this is something that you, you, you live. You know, it's the same thing as ranching or whatever. I've raised cattle before too. There's always something to do. And the redwood, just knowing they've been there for thousands of years, it's a happy place. It's mystical, full of first growth redwoods. By staying here and kind of planting our feet in the ground, even just for a few days, we've found that Leggett, while a small town of 315 people, a school of 65 kids with one gas station and one tree that you can drive through is more than that because it, the stories are in the people. And I enjoy talking to people, getting to chatter a lot, watching her face over there. <laughs>